If I want to join up two or more points with a link feature, but I don't want that link feature to affect the underlying digital terrain model, there are two options available to me. The first is I could use a non-terrain link feature and that would not be included in the DTM triangulation. The alternative is to use the feature profile command. For example, if I wish to join up this point with this point, but I don't want this DTM shape to be altered, I'm going to draw a section from this point to this point and you will see that we have a dip in the DTM model. If I were to go ahead and place a link feature between these two points then you'll see the effect that that has had on the DTM. Again if I draw a section we've lost that dip in the digital terrain model. Control Z will just undo what I've done. The alternative is to create a non-terrain link feature. Feature defaults to non-terrain. you see that the contours and the triangles haven't been affected. But what has happened is, of course, this, this spot level over here is now no longer in the terrain. Neither of those two solutions is what I want. Therefore, I can use Feature Profile. I can select a terrain link feature and ask it to draw a line from here to here and it will drape the link feature along that terrain surface. And you will see that it hasn't affected the DTM. We still have the dip maintained in the DTM model.